Segment 2. Determining Your Base Requirements Most contractors follow a driveway base method based on industry specifications combined with years of their own field experience. Typical specifications contain a prescribed excavation depth, aggregate type, thickness, and compaction method which the contractor feels confident will give them a solid installation every time. If a 14-inch base performs every time, then why deviate from this? The problem with this approach is that in some cases the 14-inch base is overkill while in other cases it may be insufficient. Unilock recommends that you assess each driveway project individually to optimize the base for cost, value and performance. Letting your clients know that you're working out the best base scenario for their driveway will give you a competitive advantage over other contractors who take a one-size-fits-all approach. In order to calculate the optimal base thickness, you need to know the subsoil strength. There are several ways to assess a driveway's subsoil strength. 1. Visual Inspection In new build areas where there are no paved driveways, it's easy to assess the subsoil strength simply by looking at it. New build sites typically contain loose and uncompacted subsoils, which sometimes take years to fully settle. This is why many paver or asphalt pavements near the foundation of a house will show signs of settling. Asking a builder to fill in the perimeter area around a new build home with a B-grade gravel fill instead of native subsoil will help minimize future settlement and is a lower cost alternative to removing loose subsoil later. For homes that are more than 10 years old, you can be confident that most of the settling will have occurred naturally. The Drive Grid Subsoil Strength Assessment Card suggests that preliminary assessment of the subsoil strength can be done simply by standing, walking, or driving a pickup truck on the subsoil surface and checking the depth of any rutting that occurs. If you are standing on the subsoil and sink 3 inches or more, the subsoil can be described as very soft. If you walk on the subsoil and you sink 2 to 3 inches, it's described as soft. A medium subsoil sinks only 1 to 2 inches when you walk on it. Stiff subsoil is one where driving an empty pickup truck will make only a half inch to an inch wheel ruts. While a very stiff subsoil would be one where a fully loaded dump truck sinks 1 to 3 inches. Hard subsoil would show virtually no running from a loaded dump truck. These results will vary depending on subsoil moisture and time of year. The recommended base thickness required for each of these subsoil strength categories with and without the use of Unilock Drive Grid can be found using the chart on the back of the pocket card. For hard subsoil, 6 inches is required. For medium subsoil, 6 to 13 inches is required. Soft subsoils require anywhere from 13 to 24 inches. For each subsoil type, the depth of excavation can be reduced by using Unilock Drive Grid. Even in hard subsoils, the use of Drive Grid can provide up to 50% savings in the amount of excavation and gravel required. If a driveway is already paved, the best way to assess subsoil strength is to look for settling and rutting. Using a 6 foot long straight edge or a level, look for any depressions. A gap of greater than three quarters of an inch over a distance of six feet indicates a medium to stiff subsoil below. Knowing the age of a driveway will also help you understand to what extent the site, subsoil and aggregates have settled. A 10-year-old gravel or paved driveway which shows no obvious signs of settling and rutting will most likely have stiff or hard subsoil strength and probably will not require a new base prior to installing a new paver surface. 2. Digging Test Holes If a driveway isn't already covered with a pavement, you can dig test holes with a hand shovel. Even though the subsoil on this project is sandy, it is still difficult to dig with a hand shovel. This generally indicates a fairly stiff subsoil. 3. Manual Penetration Probe you can physically inspect the supporting strength of the existing subsoil by using an ordinary half-inch steel rod as a probe. Notice the difference in penetration between the driveway subsoil and the adjacent lawn area. Using a probe can reveal whether a site has loose backfilled areas that need to be excavated deeper. 4. DCP Test a more definitive way to assess the strength of existing site subsoil is to do a DCP or dynamic cone penetrometer test. 
A DCP consists of a steel rod at a special weight and is used to measure the rod penetration produced after a series of impacts from the weight. Whether you use an instrument, a probe or a shovel, assessing the load-bearing capacity of the subsoil is key to determining the optimal base for a given project. Use your assessment of the subsoil strength along with the benefits of Unilock Drive Grid to provide professional base recommendations to your customer and begin to realize increased sales and profits. For more information about the Unilock Drive Grid system with Tensar Tri-X technology, contact your Unilock representative.